Coming up on City View, Austin City Council signs off on a $4.1 billion budget. Plus, we've got our eye on endangered salamanders. And we've got the details on a program that aims to provide funding for school-based sustainability projects. Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. The Austin City Council adopted a $4.1 billion fiscal year 2019 budget. The combined impact of tax, rate, and fee changes will represent an increase for the typical ratepayer of 2%, which amounts to about an additional $77 per year, or just over $6 per month. The budget will increase the general and senior homestead exemptions, provide more than $3 million of extra funding for homelessness programs, and pay for new police officers, firefighters, and fire stations. Additional funding has also been provided for historic preservation, pool maintenance, sidewalk and urban trail improvements, and mental health services. Austin City Manager Spencer Cronk said, from here we can move forward and begin the important work that mayor and council have asked us to deliver to make Austin an even better place for all our residents. The new fiscal year begins October 1st. Something old is new again. Watershed Protection Department scientists restored Eliza Springs stream to include critical features that support endangered salamanders and other wildlife. Eliza Spring, one of our four springs in Austin's Zilker Park, is one of the few places where endangered Barton Springs and Austin blind salamanders live. The water in the spring bubbles up from a natural underground water reservoir called the Edwards Aquifer. Historically, water leaving the spring formed a stream that flowed to Barton Creek. The Barton Springs and Austin Blind Salamanders lived in both Eliza Spring and its stream. In 1903, the landowner, Andrew Zilker, built an amphitheater around Eliza Spring to serve as an Elks Club meeting space, cooled by the natural spring water. An open section in the amphitheater called a keyway allowed the spring water to continue flowing as an overland stream. In the 1920s, the stream was rerouted from the land into an underground pipe installed under the Barton Springs pool lawn. When this happened, the salamanders lost this important stretch of stream habitat. As the pipe aged, it eventually began to fail. In 2017, as part of the habitat conservation plan for Barton Springs pool, the city of Austin removed the old pipe and reconstructed the stream. Once again, the stream provides the needed water speed and depth, hiding places and native plants to support native aquatic life, including our endangered salamanders. The stream also provides pool and park visitors with a beautiful place to view this important salamander habitat. Be sure to check out this beautiful new park feature the next time you're in Zilker Park. Also, enjoy a visit to the free, family-friendly splash exhibit to learn more about salamanders and springs. Safety starts with me isn't just a saying at Austin Energy. It's something they work on every day. That is why electric service delivery staff recently learned new ways to make that slogan a reality at the 2018 Electric Service Delivery Safety Summit. The event was an interesting and valuable day of safety training full of engaging presentations, videos, and speakers. It is very dangerous. The work that our line crews do, our folks out in the field, our people in power production, uh, so it's imperative that they are focused. Uh, that they're aware of their circumstances, that they have the right training, that they have the right personal protective equipment, uh, because otherwise it only takes a second to change your life. Bright Green Future Grants is a competitive program that provides funding for school-based sustainability projects up to $3,000. The program was designed to recognize and support innovative projects that will inspire students to become lifelong environmental stewards. For the past three years, one of the organizations awarded Bright Green Future Grant funding has been using it for a program that aims to teach kids about the environment and encourage them to adopt green habits. What do you guys think about the water on Earth? 
do we think? We've received the Bright Green Futures Grant for the last three years, and that's really helped us boost our uh, green and healthy education and our learning centers. How can we save our water? Somebody raise your hand. I believe that is very important. Just watching them day to day implement these different things, the recycling, um, whenever we're walking home from school, talking about transportation, pollution, and things like that. You could use buses to... We learned about how different things can affect the earth and how pollution can hurt the environment. One, two, three. I really enjoy seeing my kids go up to the recycle bin and the trash, and they're like really thinking about it. One thing you can do to keep the air clean is to encourage... We need to start using less cars because the, it's making the air bad. This is what happens when your faucet leaks. This is super beneficial for us because there really isn't a whole lot of funding out there to be able to do programs like this. Is, it, is water supposed to come out of there? No. Yeah. And so the Bright Green Future Grant was a great opportunity for us to create a curriculum that focuses on green and healthy living. Learn more about the Bright Green Futures grant program at austintexas.gov slash brightgreenfuture. That's all for this edition of City View. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. Our next episode premieres on October 8th. Thanks for watching.